Hi, this is Pastor Rick, and uh, I wanted to talk to you today about living hope again. And the reason this is on my heart is there's many, many people that live in our valley that uh, are struggling with issues in life, and some of them have been become discouraged or they've lost uh, the reason for the hope that, that I have. And I wanted to read a scripture to you and um, then talk with you a little bit about it. It just says, uh, Grace to you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that does not fade away reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. This is a very, very important passage of scripture for people to know and understand. If you're a, a believer, a Christian, then this is important as reassurance of our faith and why we can know we have a living hope. And if you're not a Christian, it tells you how you can have a hope that's real and will last forever, no matter what's going on around us. I just want to encourage you, friend, don't ever allow circumstances around us to control your life. Instead, you need to get grounded, get your feet planted on solid rock, so that no matter what the circumstances are around us, you can face life with a living hope and with assurance of your relationship with God and the inheritance that he has for you. You know, I've met a lot of people that have lost their jobs or lost their health or lost a loved one. Losses are many times very, very discouraging and uh, cause people to give up. But if you have a living hope, that means that no matter what happens, your hope sustains you and keeps you going. This hope is built upon the person of Jesus Christ. That's why it said, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And it says, According to his abundant mercy. You know how much mercy he has? More than I'll ever be able to count or, <laughs> or imagine. And he's begotten us. That means we're born, born again. He's the Father of us spiritually. Through faith, it says, to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. You know, when Jesus died for us on the cross, he paid our sin debt, a debt that we owed but could never pay. When Jesus Christ died upon that cross and paid our debt, he was buried. And on the first day, he rested uh, in the grave. Second day, in the grave. Third, uh, Early the third day, Jesus Christ rose again. And that's why I know that I can tell you the truth that he is our living hope because he still lives today. And I have an inheritance in heaven. Do you know Jesus Christ is your Savior and Lord? If you do, then you should know that you have a living hope. And our living hope, his name, is Jesus Christ. Now, you can find this passage. I want you to look it up in your Bible. Check me out to see if what I'm telling you is the truth. It's in the book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, beginning at verse 3. And you begin reading that passage and think about it, pray about it. Ask God to tell you the truth according to that passage and see if your hope uh, indicator doesn't go up. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day.